why are schemes legal and yet making headlines where people seem to be avoiding paying millions in tax and what people see that as is money that would go towards schools and towards hospitals. Well, there's $10 trillion involved in the Paradise Papers. Heaven if you're rich, hell for the people uh, who might have been assisted with the tax that was thus avoided. If they're legal, and by the way, some of that will now be tested, mm. then the law is an ass. Mm. And moreover, it's a law made by people who do everything to make life better for the rich and powerful, and not nearly enough for the rest. So if they're legal, and that, as I say, will probably now go to court because a forensic examination like the one you're looking at in The Guardian, I don't often praise The Guardian, but this is a superb piece of work, actually shines a light on areas that might not be legal. And look at the galaxy of people who are the beneficiaries. Mm -hmm. Do you remember, Bono, mm -hmm. every time I snap my fingers, a child dies in the third world? Turns out he's got all his money in the Cayman Islands where the streets have no shame. This is a person dependent on public goodwill who Andrew Carnegie put money into providing public libraries with his largesse. He puts money into shopping malls in Lithuania, bought from mm. the Cayman Islands through Malta into... Li How rich do these people need to be? Mm. How rich do they need to be? Lewis Hamilton running around in a, uh, with, a, with a Union Jack. These people, this joker you've got on from New York, from a crown dependency. When the hurricane hit them just a couple of months ago, they were telling us that we, the British taxpayers, had to uh, uh, clear up the wreckage. Had to no. pick up the tab. Uh, Mr Galloway, you're, you're, sadly Branson, wrong on, you're sadly wrong on the facts, Mr Galloway. Uh, you're sadly wrong on the facts. No hurricane hit the Cayman me. Islands. And, and I've never been accused of being amusing. Uh, and no one has accused You've Mr You've no Bono idea how of people are laughing at you right of now. Tax. You. Uh, well, uh, let me simply say that tax evasion, tax avoidance occurs in the United Kingdom and the European Union on a daily basis. It's a question of domestic law as to how that is collected. But the inland revenue will find no obstruction under the laws of the Cayman Islands, Bermuda or the other overseas territories when obtaining the necessary information uh, to make whatever uh, right, investigation well, they right, George, George, Let George. me also say, Mr Galloway, let me also say that we've heard all this $10 trillion nonsense before. We heard it with the Panama Papers. Mm. And you cannot tell me of dollar one that has been collected as a result of investigations made under the Panama Papers inquiries. Well, you can see they're twitching uh, nervously because the public demand of the politicians, and if we had a government that was actually in power rather than merely in office, they would this day be announcing right, but George, a big crackdown on these... But, George, uh, here's, the th here's the slight issue I'd have with that. If I took a 1,000 Good Morning Britain viewers down the pub and I said, look, do you really want to pay all the tax you're paying? I've got a little scheme that will save you. I can guarantee you a very large number would be quite happy to avoid paying as much tax as they do if I could assure them it was legal. In other words, I'm not sure that the vast public in this country share the instinctive fury about people that they can be persuaded to, but actually, if they were honest with themselves, doesn't everybody want to try and avoid paying too much tax? Yeah, but the, it's an entirely different ballpark and, uh, and morally an entirely different hemisphere. Because these people and these companies, let's not forget Apple and others, they go shopping around the world for a place that they can call their head office, pretend is the centre of their business, in order to avoid paying tax when they require the public to love okay, them. OK, but devil's advocate again, if you're Apple and you can go and put a nice big building up in Dublin or wherever it may be, because it's, it's tax efficient for you, you're bringing a lot of economy to Dublin. I've mm. seen it in Dublin. Mm. A lot of these tech companies are over there. There's like a little Silicon Valley in Dublin. And actually, people in Dublin love it. They're bringing lots of money, they're going to the restaurants, they're investing in the economy. Who really loses? You can get annoyed about it, but who loses if Apple is just managing its tax affairs legally and with ruthless efficiency. Well, the health service lost. 
the schools lost, mm. the public realm everywhere around us lost. But if it was illegal what they were doing, I'd agree with you and say, OK, I get it. The problem is chicken and the egg. Isn't mm. the problem that the chicken is the existing law and it's that that needs to change? Well, on that, I agree with our friend in New York and with you. Uh, the law is an ass. Mm. And moreover, it's a law drawn up specifically to benefit the richest and most powerful people. And by the way, these politicians right. who've made those laws want to get in the revolving door and become one of these people when they leave office. Well, I think you're fine. And I your think friend, you're fine uh, your friend and mine, I Tony think... Blair, mm. did exactly that. He set up a lot of laws, including quote unquote loopholes, that he mm. and his friends are now benefiting from. Anthony Travers? Look, I think you'll I think you'll find Mr. Galloway when the specific instances are examined that the law is not an ass and that if tax has been avoided by certain individuals in Bermuda or even Panama if it comes to it although we've seen scant evidence so far that it's because people haven't complied with domestic United Kingdom law uh, in relation to matters of tax avoidance. Uh, so I don't think the law is an ass. I think the problems that you may be talking about are a result uh, uh, from non-compliance with existing legislation. Okay.